Hi there, this is Abdullah Sheikh from Code Prime. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to show the live cryptocurrency coin price. You can see on my computer screen, this price is was showing this Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Doggy coin. This all prices is the live prices. When we have reload this page, it will be in the same prices. And this every process and will be applying this little bit of HTML CSS and a little bit of JavaScript and a coin Jiko API current live coin prices. So let's get started this video. Here you can see I have opened my VS code and here I have added basic HTML and CSS file and here I have connected this HTML file and the CSS file and the title also the live current price and here I have also added the basic and let me remove the previous app.js file and let's start this now we are going to copy this body sections and now we'll open it the style file and let me make it the separate this double display here so here is where we are going to write the CSS for this body here we are going to make it the display send flex and justify content center and align item center and main height will be the minimum height is 100 VA so that this all item goes to center now we'll open here a class name that is container so let's type this container copy this container class and let's write the CSS for this container so here also we are going to make it display flex and justify okay justify content center and align item will be center this all item goes to in center one line here and then we are going to add some padding for visibility of this so here let's add a padding 10 pixel 20 pixel and add also a box shadow and then we will add a border radius so that we can visible this padding that we have added here so now we'll be open this with the vs code extension that is live server so we have opened there there is inside of this no element that's why this is not showing here actually so now we are going to write for the next step for this here we have connected this style file and everything is all right so here is nothing showing there because we haven't any property inside of this container so now let's type this all property here this inside of this container class so here first of all here i'm going to type this coin and the prices so this will be our coin prices a class section and inside of this a logo and after this logo we will add a div inside of this div here will be added title sorry price title price and title will be the same like in s1 tag so there is dollar and this bitcoin we have the title here and now write this css for this now before writing here let me show the preview and then we are going to add images here so let's add in logo images that is mj sources for the bitcoin and you can see this live view right now and now we are going to write the css for coin price so let's add first of all here inside of this let me remove this so that this is not needed that's just i have added for visibility of this item so now here we are going to add this container and this container prices so let's add the display flex again here because we want to make them all in one line and then display flex and the spray content and align and also center and let me add a padding here also and then we'll add a border radius that is 5 pixel and add a box shadow so that it can be visible of this actually where is the width of this so now we can see here this we have added this successfully here now let's see the viewpoint and you can see like this so now we'll add a margin some of this margin for this before margin add this we will add some logo css for this logo box so coin price let's add the location file of this property and now add a logo okay it was not looking good i think i have the caps lock is one okay let's type it again okay let's type this caps lock one and this is the logo we have classes here so now let's set the width for the 70 pixel so it will be the 70 pixel and we're going to add a margin also from the right side it will be 10 pixel and now let's copy this class here and let's type for this img tag and with this 100 percent so that it will be set automatically from there so now we have written this now see the viewpoint is looking like this so now we are going to write this css for this the div sections inside of this tag so let's copy the div here and first of all can copy this the property of the class of this and it's still the coin prices and then we'll add the div okay let's add the div and here we are going to make it display block so that all item goes to invisible in block and let's copy and paste it and now we're going to write for this css for this s1 tag so let's copy this s1 tag and here after this div we will write here this s1 tag and now we are going to write this css for the font size so here it will be the 20 pixel and now see the viewpoint it was looking like this and now come to here back to here and then we need to this make to we need to make some more like this so it is back and we need to copy this from the coin pliers this class name from this section we are going to make it copy and paste for the three times because we have already one so now we need to replace that title of this coin name okay let's replace them one by one okay <laughs> sorry i have replaced them in two times both of this ethereum and light coin so let me fix it first 
okay ethereum so here we're going to make it litecoin and then it will be ethereum and then the fourth one is the doggy coin you can say it's Dogecoin coin as as purpose your spelling of this so here we need to change these images so let's change these images for this ethereum doggy coin and the litecoin so now see the viewpoint here you can see that images and everything is added now let me add some spaces inside of this so come to here to the coin prices class and add here a margin that is here i'm going to add a seven pixel so that it will be equally seven pixel of this is of the side so now we have successfully made this design here right now so now we are going to this app.js file but before going to app.js file so we need some jquery cdn so let's start this jquery cdn on google and click on to this modified and copy this and come back to your html file and after this inside of this header close tag and there here we will need to paste it and then remove this item so we have need actually we need the version file so now we are going to set here this the coin Zico website so we need the api for this live prices so open this website here now go to scroll down go to scroll down more because of my internet is good issue so here we can see here developer api button just click on it and there is we got a free free section that is we need to choose that free live price and explore docs click on it and then here is the coin Zico api list of this all this coin the api code and you will be find here this let me back to here and we need this simple text so here we need to click on to the save okay so i have click on this coin so let me back to simple and we need to click on to this gate and scroll down here and there is we need that api id you will find this all api id of this coin GQ will be here so i have already known that actually my id or what i need there so i know that now click on to this stride and type here that id that is bitcoin comma then litecoin comma and then ethereum then another comma and then dogecoin and now you can set here this is the prices ratio about it actually which prices you want to actually know that there is you can write usdt and rbdt and much more here i'm going to edit in usdt and then execute and then you can see the price details and we can see here the api id so now copy this link here and go to back your app.js and here we need add a variable so let's add a variable like prices and equal to so it will be there here will be add a assign function that is assign equal to two and then we will add here another that one will be a scroll domain scrolls domain and it will be also true because we are going to make this function that it will be visible here and this it will be enable so now we are going to add this url replace here that url we have copy from there now paste it and then open add comma here and then it will be method to be get because we want to get that element from that coin jico and then we are going to headers function headers will be the function here this property here and then make some decreasing spaces here so now we are going to set some of the jquery here this jquery script that is dollar dot is a x and this inside of this will be the live price that's our variable and there it will be done function and it will be function it will be response so let's type this response okay inside of this let's open this function here so let me set this response again because i think that there is some spelling mistake so now we're going to print this item this price is a console in log response let's close here and then okay response spelling is correct here so now close it and now go to back this website view here so now we need to first of all connect this app.js file so script here inside of this book close body tag here we need to connect this and go to back the website view and we can see this now click onto this console inspection developer tool and here you can see that the object here this all coin prices is available here so now we need to go back and here we have added this successfully here so now we need to add an id inside of this s tag the price tag here we're opening here a span and id will be the every coin name that is bitcoins and let me copy and paste it here then it will be type for the id for this litecoin okay let's type this litecoin and this one this will be the ethereum let's set the id ethereum and then go back to for this the doggy coin and here is the id is doggy coin so now let me back to the app.js file okay let me make it some bigger of this folder okay let's set it html and this now we are going to add some variable for this we are going to get this all of our html document from here this variable that is equal document dot get element by id we are going to place that all id that is bitcoin litecoin this all id we are going to copy from the html file and copy and paste this line by one three four time here and this ltc let's set this id for this litecoin and ethereum we are going to place that id for ethereum 
and the last one is doggy coin so let's say doggy here we are going to make the variable and copy the id doggy coin paste it here so we have accessed our html document by this variable here so now we need to go here this you can see that variable okay sorry i have made some wrong clicks so now we need to go on this function for this jquery let's remove that console and now we need to copy this uh, variable for btc here so let's type this variable btc dot inner html equal response and it will be that the name of this by this document you can see here first we can copy that id or also we can see here this the, our main property is the api that is coinjig we are going to live prices there you can see that all this id name this api id so you need to place that api id of this here bitcoin doggy coin dot usdt so all this id will be from defended by this the api of coinjig so we have successfully set this all around here this bitcoin ethereum here and now we have this last one that is doggy so for this doggy coin and this bit is doggy here so we have around to check this but need before you know, open this to server you need to check that all documents so now you can see that this the live prices and it was still showing that the live prices of this prices here you can see bitcoin litecoin ethereum and doggy coin all prices is live here so i knew ever you refresh the page it was still the prices here so hopefully you can see that how we can make that so thank you so much for watching this video